Hello, time for you. This is Rose Gwyther for Thirsty Thursday. I don't think we've had a Thirsty Thursday since July. But uh, just to let you know that all is well. My husband's eye is continuing to heal. We still have a long ways to go, probably in, at least through the end of the year. But he is getting better. And I'm having a little bit more time, not having to run up to the doctors in Baltimore or other places as often. So, if you had not heard, my husband took a bungee cord to the eye and really damaged his eye really bad. So, watch out for those bungee cords. Wear your safety glasses. We are wearing our safety glasses a lot. And my husband is no longer touching any bungee cords. So, let's go on and talk about what I promised I was going to talk about back in July. The new hair conditioners that came out at convention. I talked about the shampoos. Now I'm here to talk about the conditioners. They have the corresponding conditioners that goes with the shampoo, the lavender, the lavender mint, and the copaiba vanilla. So they have different, three different shampoos and conditioners for you depending on you what you like and also what your type of hair is. Now the lavender is mostly for the dry thin and for the thin limp type of hair. The copaiba vanilla is for um, more dry hair and the lavender mint is for all types of hair. That doesn't mean that you can't use any of these because they are all made for all types of hair. But then they have their little specialties in there they do best for this type of hair or that type of hair. So let's talk about these. These come in an 8 ounce bottle. There you go, this is Copaiba Vanilla. And it costs $24.75. And you think, well, yeah, that's a, little, that's a little pricey. Well, you know what? I just something, something I realized. I brought in what I'm currently using, which is Copa Eva Vanilla, the old formula, because they've reformulated these. And I know I've had this since before convention in my bathroom, using it every day, because I basically swim every day and wash my hair every day. So this is now has lasted me at least June, July, August, September, October, four months, and it's going to last me a lot more. I probably have about a third left. So this is going to last me through the end of the year. That's what I'm guessing. So that's a long time. So if I use this thing for eight to nine months, it's only costing me about two to three dollars a month. So think about that next time you or buying some conditioner think about how long this stuff lasts okay now the lab we'll talk about the lavender first the lavender is uh, provides fuller looking hair and it has eight different essential oils even though it's called lavender it also has blue cypress frankincense chamomile cedar wood idaho blue spruce german geranium and ylang-ylang. has quite a few ingredients. It has something that I was surprised of because this is all new formulation. There's very little similarities between the old and the new ingredients. This one had four or five different alcohols and at first you know you think alcohols well that's bad. No, not necessarily. The alcohols that Young Living uses are good alcohols and why do they put them in here well they're designed to keep your hair hydrated also to help you have that softness along with it let's see they have sterile alcohol in here they have brazica alcohol which also softens the hair they have benzyl alcohol which is really more of a preservative. So alcohols can provide softness and preser 
preserve and it has what it have one more I don't see one more so it does have three alcohols and but they're good alcohol so just see if you see alcohol just think oh that's bad no not necessarily look it up get educated about what that particular alcohol is there are some bad alcohols okay so anyway this one also has some great hair softening ingredients like grapeseed oil and um let's see marumu seed butter which we've had before in other and newer products also has uh, different seed oils including fruit extracts um, and has stuff like seaweed pomegranate avocado so it has a lot of natural ingredients in here that makes your hair just wonderful now I looked up on EWG these new ones are not there yet to be rated but I would put this as a two. They might put it as a three because of the ancestral oils. Those can be sensitive to some people and that's why they rate them a little higher. But these are great, great ingredients in these particular conditioners. Now the Copaiba Vanilla and the Vanilla Mint. Okay. Two new bottles. They all come in the brown bottle. There we go. And they had the exact ingredients in it. A little bit different from the lavender, but lavender has some of the same ingredients, but it's funny that these two have the exact ingredients, except for the things, the essential oils, that provide the fragrance. So the Copaiba Vanilla is for basically dry, damaged, and over-processed hair. And I think that's one that I use a lot because I wash my hair every day because I swim. And I'm swimming basically in chlorinated water. So it's good for my body. may not be good for everything else, but it's good for my overall health so I continue to do it. But I also use products that are going to help strip that stuff away from my body and provide me some soothing. The uh, lavender mint is for all types of hair, but especially, let's see where's my benefits, and it's gentle enough to use every day. Okay, so that's all types of hair. Now the Copaiba Vanilla has quite a number of essential oils also. They have the copaiba, the blue cypress, the ylang ylang, the cedar wood, sacred frankincense, grand fir, bergamot, cardamom, Idaho blue spruce, and sandalwood. So quite a number of, of essential oils. The lavender mint has three, peppermint, lavender, and spearmint. So it has a lot less. They have great ingredients. They have uh, one alcohol, the serratal alcohol, that helps to thicken the product. It's safe for the skin. You don't have to worry about it drying, drying out your hair. It also has um, some serratal olivate and another olivate called sorbitin olivate. And these help to provide smoother and luxurious feel to your hair. Uh, they have um, extracts that help with the suit to provide this the moisture and bring that moisture into your hair so your hair stays nice and doesn't break it has rosemary extract and not rosemary oil it has rosemary extract and the only thing that's different between besides the essential oils is the copaiba vanilla they had to add a little bit of vanilla in it so it has vanilla extract not the oil has a little bit of vanilla extract in it so these oil of these um conditioners are very good i highly recommend them 
I was going to look at to see what the difference is between the old and the new. This is the old. I'm just going to take some and put it on my finger. It will come out. It's kind of thick. Okay. So here's the old. I don't know if you how much you can see. There they are all they are all white. This one is a little thick. Okay, a little thick, but very soothing. It almost feels like a, a body lotion to me when I do that. Now the new one, let's see how it compares. Okay, this one also is white. Kind of thick. It's not as thick of a consistency as the old one, but still, not bad. It smells the same. So of course it should, because the, 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 the essential oils didn't change that much between the old and the new. What changed was the ingredients. So I highly recommend that you try these if you haven't. They will last you a long time, like I'm realizing now. I never realized how long they really lasted me. But this bottle here is lasting me about eight to nine months. You just need a dab. You don't need a whole lot. You rub it in your hair and then rub it through your hands and then you rub it good and nice and in your hair. Work it in. Let it set for a few minutes and then rinse it out. And the best thing to do after you do the conditioner, and just before you get out of the shower, like I've talked about, is to take a cool rinse. Sometimes it's hard to do when it's cold, but it, your body will love it in the long term. So that's what I have today. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you again as I have time. Bye.